All right, here is the Wheel of One piece again, where we're going to try to take on the EB01 meta with whatever RNG throws at us. So let's see if we can spin to win. Nami, Nami, Nami. Holy Jones in EB1. It's the first time we've uh, been green since uh, the nice little Kuro video. Oh, we're going to do the best that we can to see if we can survive the EB1 meta or become fish food. All right, so we're going to be going over the deck list real quick uh, from left to right. We got four copies of Hachan, 2K counter. Then we got two copies of the Arlong. Four copies of the Icaros, four copies of the Searcher, Kami. Then we got four copies of the Zeo, another 2K care that can be played on field. Then we got Daruma, very dangerous. Then we got another two copies of the Dosun, slightly less dangerous, but can stick. Then we got Venerdekin to uh, clear out anything that's a pain in the ass for us if we need it. Then we got four copies of Hyozu. Then we got the big man himself, Hody Jones, Rush. Resting two. We don't care about uh, uh, what costs they are. We can just rest it. Then we got four copies of the Dangerous Zoro. Then we got a copy of the Hodi and Hyozu. You can get this from the Pirates Party event and you can buy it on TCG. I think it's like five or six bucks for one of these. So it's a good little tech option. Kind of does the same thing as Hyozu, but slightly different because it requires attacking it. Then we got Mihawk that can mess around with either Hodi. Kyozu, Arlong, uh, Daruma can mess around with any of them. Now we got four copies of uh, whoever wins this war becomes justice. We got a lot of bricks, so it's good to uh, get rid of stuff. Then we got two copies of the Noah's Ark. Does come up, <laughs> surprisingly so. And if it's on trigger, the opponent goes to sleep. So yeah, that wraps up uh, the Hoya Jones decklist. Nothing really changed as far as the EB1 support, so uh, it's pretty much the same LP6 build. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go straight to the games. Let's see some more games here. Okay, so a lot of time. So we want to go first here. We'll play uh, Cami here. And uh, we will grab... The Icarus. Pass it off to my opponent. So nothing on turn two. Hmm. Do we Icarus again? Or not Icarus. Do we Mihawk into Hachan? To add more pressure? I think that would be the correct answer, actually. But then again, we won't have anything to play on... Five, but that should be okay. So I think for sure we're attacking. So I'll take. Now the question is do we Mihawk here? Or do we just go five into law? I'm thinking we just go five into law, actually. Don't give him any food. I'll be surprised if they take here. Okay, so they drop a law. So this is one of the matches where it's going to be really tough. So we'll take this. Okay, so Ein will take away, get another Ein on play. All right, so we're at five here. So all we can really do is... We could just take life over here on this end because we don't really have anything to play past this. So I think we just go for aggression and go for five. So they lose a 2k. We'll play this and play a hatchin. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of... We need to play something next turn that isn't any of these. So we'll take away a Vander. Take away a Kami as well. So they do have the Bond Clay, a max to get rid of our Mushi. I think we'll just cut a Mihawk here. And then we'll let that go too. 
But now what? Alright, so I think the math is this. We play everything and hope that something sticks. So, I think that the Van Decken is going to have to be passed for sure. And we will use it to get rid of one of the Eines. Then I think we go a couple of ways here. I think we got to keep playing stuff. So I think we just go wide again. Get two out. And then go for broke, essentially. We'll take. And then we'll take another Dawn and attack. And so this is going to determine we're going to, we're, we essentially need Hori Jones or bust here. That's what needs to happen. So we're going to take whatever opportunities present. Um, it's too bad. This is only a four cost or less. Uh, no, we keep it because we want to make sure we get the most out of our life. There's the Hody Jones. Take that as well. All right, so this is it. This is the only play we can do. Drop both. Go for seven to face. And he has counter for it. So, yeah, we'll play it on to my opponent. All right, let's give him the final blow. Yeah, so we need them not to carry out there. So, yeah, a whole bunch to the kid, which is strange because it is law. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that it is what it is. We're going to be seeing a whole bunch of this in the format, so can't win them all. Okay, so the audio was muted uh, during uh, gameplay, so we're going to be doing this uh, retroactively. So apologies in advance, but I didn't want to cut this game out because it was uh, too much fun. So we're going to start off with Cami over here. Going to get the Daruma to pass. So Law is going to just place the Gordon in pass. So what we're going to do is draw into the Hori Jones and rest the Gordon. And then I think we're going to add a five, or in this case three, to make Cami five. So that we can take out the Gordon. Because playing Daruma or anything else would uh, just get cleaned up immediately. So we'll pass it there. So now the law will decide to attack the Kami, which we're not going to argue with. Then they're going to play the kid and killer just uh, as is. So we're up to five dawn and we're going to play. Me thinks we're going to play. And swing actually. So they'll take the life. Got Arlong. We're going to take out one of the Zoros to prevent it from attacking. So we do have a buy on board. It's just a matter if they have the Gordon, but they have the kid. If they had Gordon here, we would be scared, but no, it's just they're going to remove three Dawn and they are going to play a Raju, which is pretty scary because they have a whole bunch more ammunition and uh, we don't have as much. So we're going to go up to seven here. We're going to uh, play, uh, use the action, rest one of their Dawn just in case, and then we're going to play Hardy Jones. We're going to rest both their Raju and kid and we really want to get rid of the kid before things really get out of hand so we're going to try that so they'll lose the beppo and then we'll swing a at it and they're going to lose a penguin and um, another 1k counter so uh, now they're going to be at six done they're going to minus two the otama into our holly jones make it six thousand and they're going to try to get rid of it as is so we'll just take the counters here though we are going to be losing a whole bunch of uh cards in hand but i think uh, at this uh, game state there's only really one thing that we can actually do here so yeah we pass off two they're thinking of either swinging with the kid they will swing with the kid 
So we'll counter out that. Then they're going to decide on the Kin Killer. So they're going to attach two and try to get rid of it there. So let's see if they have a Gordon in hand to get rid of the Arlong. They're just going to get rid of three and play another Raju. So just, just drawing four cards straight up like that is pretty crazy. So all we can do is one play. So we're just going to just swing at life with whatever we have. So they're going to counter it with Beppo. And we're going to swing six. And they're going to take the life here. And then we just play Zoro and pray. All right. So they have a whole bunch of bodies on board. And uh, not much that we can do out of that. So we're just going to have to take all this life. I think we let the R on go. We do. And then swing straight fives. We should be able to survive this. So we'll just take the life. No, we actually can't have it. Okay. And then we get the blocker here and they pass it to us. And look at that. Noah's Ark. Can we come in clutch and zero to, uh, or three to zero them real quick? Uh, let's see. So he rests everything. No hard Noah's Ark. We're going to swing for fire to get rid of a card in their hand. And they are going to, I think they're going to drop one here. They do. And then all we can do is a swing for 10, three times and see if that is enough. So we reset here. I have to take that one for sure. We're going to swing again. So we another 10. We're going to take that life. So now they're at zero. So all there is left to is to swing for 10 and try to go for game. So that's 1K, 2K, another 1K. And uh, that's it. They only had 9K, which wasn't enough, but we were able to get out with the skin of our teeth in that one. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Okay, this could be interesting because we can totally mess up their radical beam play. Um, so we got Luffy here. We'll keep this hand. Ooh, Zoro is looking juicy. But now we'll just play Cami. And uh, that's uh, looking pretty good uh, for turn three. Arc is not good. We can't draw any of these. So this is pretty much our only option. Our turn four, however, is going to... It's going to need to change. You didn't get any uh, ramp. So what we can do is um, do one of these plays. We can attach one. This doesn't cost us Don to play, so we can do this without any trouble. So we'll put six on them. We'll drop. We'll deploy the Mihawk, drop the Arlong, use the action, take out Zoro, and now he can't attack. And now we got a 6k in. So Bonclay is going to be involved in our match, but that's all good. We can't rest it for the time being, so all we can do now is, I think we'll just uh, play, no, you know what? I think putting pressure is more important. So they are losing their hand, which is fine. So seven to the face, we'll take. Nami's up. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay, this is where we're gonna need to be a bit more careful. So we will rest. Swing. Swing. And I think we'll just swing six. Then we'll swing six again. Swing eight. And I think we can reset him. All right, let's uh, give it a go. So Newgate's gonna get down. 
I think we pretty much got this in the bag, so no problems here. We'll rest the dawn for sure. And then we'll put everything into our Duruma. What trend of trigger does he have? Not the one that affects us. <laughs> wow, this this thing is crazy. Actual monster. Okay, Ranger is going to be interesting. So we're going second here. So keep this and see how it goes. We do have a curve. Nothing to use on that. Why are we using Ninji now? I guess this set up board. I think we just swing five here. Then we unload the Mihawk. Drop. Zeo and persuade them not to attack. So we're going to be at six. So we'll drop Icaros and Daruma. Okay, so that can't attack. Hmm. I think I have to block this. And I think we just go full on aggro on him. I think uh, we actually spend the life so we'll just go five to face and we'll swing six to face and then we'll drop this down all right so now i can put on some pressure so they can drop reiju as well as an ichiji on board Oh, no Ichiji. So I will let that go. That has to go. Okay, so we can do a couple of things here. We can... I think uh, we do want to rest here. We don't want to get uh, too far down the hatchet. So we'll rest the Kaya so that we don't add life. And then we'll just swing a whole bunch. So we'll do a six to uh, life. So 2k counter on this. Then we will go with Dosun, swing. And then we will go Hody Jones. Rest, cancel, and then swing for another eight to face. And then we'll pass. So this can't be killed uh, that easily. It would need a Nichiji to, to uh, pop the, to bounce us to hand. They could target the Hori Jones, but if they're not careful what they're done, or well, we could easily block that. So six on six action, we let that go. Now he's going to think we don't have counter. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't want to see any shenanigans, so we'll block that. Okay, so each of these in play. And we could save that. So uh, we were able to out aggro them. So we'll just swing. 
We'll just go nine here and see if that will empty the hand. All right, we got it. Go first. Sugar. Going up against and swinging all and this is pointless for Dofi, but we're going to just take out the baby five. So probably drop sugar now, but we'll see. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll take that and we'll use the arc. So sugar is involved. But what we can do is rest a sugar and then play Muhi and bring out Hoyozu. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, so Birdcage sucks. I had no idea that they can still pull that off. Swing to sugar. Take that off the board. Game. Oh, why I why didn't I swing? So dumb. So Ragnarok was able to strike down the Jones. Just slap him for five. And then drop a Zoro down. We'll just block that with one of these. Uta is going to be involved. All right, so we're going to take a Dawn. We're on our 10 Dawn turn. We're going to swing. Gonna counter out. Then we're gonna swing with Zoro. Go for nine. Raise him up. Then we're gonna swing at him again. Okay, so they block with Uta, which is great. And then we're gonna play another Zoro. So if they don't have any solutions to uh, either kill my Zoro or what have you, we are in a good place. So we'll take the. I think we will counter out. So it looks like Drake is going to be coming after my life. All right, so we take uh, damage. And Birdcage is off, so everything dies except for my Zoro. So now all I need to do is rest him, well, is rest it on, and then just swing nine. Okay, so we got two strikes to the face. Okay, so that was a whiteout. So Canada, the second one. Let's see if he can take a third one. Can't take the third one, so we're going to attach and put the rest of the dong to swing three more times. So they take that one. Will they survive the fifth attack? Two. So they're at nine. All right. So, uh, yeah, we were able to get enough, and that um, minus was actually effective. That minus dons to prevent them from doing another 2k. Or in this case, the two-cost event. <laughs> uh.